hello guys my name is arsalan welcome back to my channel and today we are going to solve a new lead code question that is fibonacci number so we will be solving this question with the help of javascript so let's start solving this question so first of all the question says the fibonacci number commonly denoted fn form a sequence called the fibonacci sequence such that number is the sum of two preceding ones starting from zero and one that is this f0 is 0 f1 is 1 so they are starting from these numbers and then they are the addition of the preceding numbers so let me explain it to you what actually this means is that first number two numbers are these two and if you add the last two digit you will get one the addition of these two number will be one so we will get one and the uh, then we will add furthermore you will be getting two and again we will be adding we will be getting three and again we will be adding we will be getting five because we will add these preceding numbers to preceding number will be the next number the addition and then 13 then 21 and then so on so this is how the fibonacci series is created it's a mathematical concept so it's first of all we first we start with these two numbers and then we start adding the number beyond so let's start solving this question to just for starting solving this question guys do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel so first of all if you see here that first what we'll be doing here when uh, when i is equals to zero means that n is equals to zero we will say that return zero if if n is equals to zero then return zero similarly if n is equals to one or n is equals to two then what see when n is equals to one and n is equals to two we have to return only one so return one now what we will be saying that starting from n is equals to two we will say that else return return what we will take the recursion method and we will target this and and we will say that 5 and minus 1 plus 5 and minus 2 so what actually will be doing here is uh, you see that uh, with if n is equals to 1 for example n is equals to 2 here so we will return 1 however if n is equals to 3 here okay so let's take example number two for this method that when n is equals to three so let's count here n is equals to one n is equals to two uh, n is equals to zero n is equals to one n is equals to two n is equals to three so when n is equals to three the sum is coming to be two so here is two let's do it by our code here and check it with our code so five n minus one is uh here n is equals to 3 to 5 n minus 1 is 1 and then 5 n minus 2 is 1 again so we will be getting 2 similarly if we check for 4 let's check for 4 as well so let me comment in the comment section so that you can have better imagination of what we are doing here so n is equals to 4 and if you put in our function f uh, 5 n minus 0 5 n minus 1 so 5 n minus 1 will give us what our n is 4 so 4 minus 1 will be 4 minus 1 plus 4 minus 2 so what we will be getting here we will be getting n is equals to 4 minus 1 will be 3 and 3 minus 2 will be 3 okay so 4 uh, sorry the n minus n is equals to 4 is 3 actually it's 3 and here also 3 so i took it as a 4 but it is 3 so when is n is equals to 3 our value is 3 minus 1 because 0 1 2 3 and 4 so this is the fourth one value and we have taken it here and 2 minus 3 minus 1 will give us 2 and 2 plus 1 will give us 3 similarly if we check for all the values it will return true for all the values so let's run the code now and see what's happening now
so you see it has been running successfully so let's check for multiple test cases including 2 3 and 4 and we can include more values like 5 6 7 so that we have a better idea of what we were saying and what we are doing you see that it has been running successfully so that was that's what this was all in the question guys hope you have understood the question hope you have liked the video and hope you will subscribe to the channel if you have any doubt ask in the comment section i will try to sort it out thank you guys for watching the video see you next time